Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Fun Facts About the Saints. I hope we're all doing well. Um, today... Greetings! Greetings, Nick! Greetings, greetings from the 16th century. Oh, well, thank you. Um, today... Is, um, we remember St. Um, Paul Miki and Companions. Well, this is not exactly um, Paul Miki himself. But it is one of his companions. Um, yes, Nick. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. I'm sorry, Paul couldn't make it today. He had an appointment. I think he was uh, making appearance uh, some way for his feast day. So I, he sent me as his representative, and I am one of his companions. But uh, he sent me to, to tell you his story. Thanks for letting us come on your show today. Uh-huh. Well, take it away and tell the story. Well, uh... So, Paul Miki, all right, so today's the Feast of Paul Miki, and um, as you know, in the 1500s, okay, the St. Ignatius established the Jesuits, and the Jesuits were very close to the Pope, and the Pope wanted them to go around the world and preach the gospel everywhere, right? And um, St. Ignatius appointed Francis Xavier mm -hmm. to do that, and Francis Xavier brought the gospel to India, wow. uh, he brought the gospel to all kinds of places, including... Japan. Ah. And uh, so the Jesuits had been in Japan evangelizing the Japanese people from the uh, early 1500s. Mm. Um, and Paul Miki became a Christian uh, in that time period, in the late, in the, uh, in the 1500s, uh, because of the preaching of the Jesuits in Japan. Mm. In fact, Paul, uh, became so devout that he decided he wanted to become a Jesuit too. And he joined the Jesuit order. And in 1597, when Paul Miki was a Jesuit brother, so he's Japanese, native uh -huh. Japanese. He's okay. from a very uh, uh, prestigious family. His dad was in the military uh. in Japan. Wow. Um, but a one of the leaders, thank you, one of the leaders of uh, the uh, the people of Japan, who's not a Christian, decided that he didn't like all these people becoming Christian. He was afraid that they were going to bring European invaders into Japan. So uh. they decided to get rid of all the Christians. And they rounded up 26 Catholics, including Paul Miki, and some other native Japanese, as well as some European uh, missionaries, uh -huh. including me. Mm. Uh, my name is Francisco Blanco. I was a Franciscan. Uh, missionary from J from uh, Spain in uh -huh. Japan, mm. but I was rounded up with Paul Miki and all these other people, uh, laymen, old men and women, young children, um, altar. I mean, there were just all kinds of people that were rounded up that were Catholic, inclu including Paul, who was a Jesuit brother. Uh -huh. And they were all. I know this is gonna. It's kind of shocking, actually. Um, they weren't just killed, but they were crucified. Mm. So the Japanese people. To make an example of all these Catholics, uh -huh. they actually uh, took them and crucified. So me and Paul and all these other, the other uh, 24 uh, Catholics were all crucified publicly so that people could see them. And then when we weren't dying quick enough, they speared us uh, and killed us. But mm -hmm. you know what? You know, of course, martyrdom is never, there's nothing good about martyrdom, uh, but God can bring good out of everything because uh -huh. our witness, our devotion, our perseverance, and our love of Jesus, even to the point of death, uh, inspired the Japanese people so that later, so uh, uh, hundreds of years later, when Christian missionaries came back to, that's fine, when, oh, sorry. When Chris, uh, we got, it's nice that we have a piano here. Uh, when Christian missionaries came back to Japan, uh, by the way, this all took place in Nagasaki, uh, um, in uh, I think southern part of Japan. But when people came back to Nagasaki to bring the gospel uh, years later, hundreds of years later, there were still secret Catholics who had been influenced by Paul Miki and people like me and Francis Xavier and still trying to live the faith. And it was still surviving after so much time of being suppressed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a testimony to um, perseverance of the saints. That no matter what, we want to stay close to Jesus. And even when we're being persecuted for our faith, to try to witness and stay true to him. And even though we might feel like we were failures, 
that God will honor our perseverance in terms of our relationship with him, showing our love for him, but he will bring fruit from that. And other people will be inspired by our desire to, uh, to stay, um, to stick with Jesus no matter what. Anyway, mm. so that's today. So today we uh, honor uh, Paul, Miki, and the other Japanese martyrs and the others who were martyred with him at that time, 26, in, in 1597, late, late 16th century in Nagasaki, Japan. Mm. And the faith, though there are not that many Catholics in Japan uh, today, the church is still strong there, especially in the area of Nagasaki, around where this happened. And uh, we are grateful for the witness of the martyrs and for the work of the Jesuits who, who brought the gospel to Japan. Wow. So... That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I have a prayer here. All right, then. So let's do that. All right. So let's do the Son of the Cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> oh, God, strength of all the saints who through the cross we ple please to call the martyr St. Paul and Mickey and our companions to life. And we pray by their intercession we may hold with courage even unto death to the faith that we profess through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And Father, Son, Husband, well, thank you for joining us on Fun Facts. Are you going to ask me to pray for you? Pray for us. Uh, Father Francisco. Uh, but yes, I will. Of course I will. Uh, I will, <laughs> as we say. And I'm sure Paul will, too. Yeah. And all the all his other companions. Well, yeah, that's all for today. Just save a few moments for an announcements. Oh, you want me to leave, then? Oh, no, you can stay. All right. Well, to, um, I just want to say that tomorrow we will not have a reflection, but we will receive a visit from St. Richard himself. And um, so there's... <laughs> Sorry, my eyebrows just <laughs> did a thing there. <laughs> so, yes, there'll be no weekend re reflections. Um, did you do trivia yesterday? I hear you do trivia on, on uh, St. Trivia on Fridays. Did you yep. Mm -hmm. You did it? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, I missed that. I must have been busy in the heavenly... Shower? Uh, no, we we play Pinochle on Fridays, so... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we also want to share what is... Things that are coming up this coming week. On, um, so on Monday, February 8th, will be actually two saints, St. Saint Jerome Emiliani and St. Josephine Paquita. Oh, you're, I bet you'll be talking about Josephine Paquita. Mm -hmm. I know you're a big fan of hers, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a movie, so um, we might um, possibly send you a link. Yeah, I'm sure that could be done down in your world. Mm hmm The movie's really good. Uh, oh, St. Scholastic's coming up on Wednesday. Oh, uh, yes. Sister of? Sister of St. Benedict. Oh, my gosh, he knows. So, he yes. He knows his saints. As, um... All right, I'm out of here. As he just said, yeah. um, on Wednesday, February 10th, we possibly could receive a visit from St. Benedict's sister, the Virgin, St. Scholastica. Um... I don't think we'll... We receive a visit um, on um, Thursday, Our Lady of Lords. Um, Probably not. Yeah, so we'll have a reflection that day. And, of course, Friday, as usual, reflection and trivia. So, for reflection days will be Friday, Thursday. Um, and... Tuesday and M Monday, actually. Anyway, but we, we don't know we'll have since Alaska, but we'll, we'll see. But anyway, that's all for today. Thank you all for joining us on Fun Facts for the Saints. God bless you all. Good night.